on to the biggest story definitely over the last 24 hours. Tsunami warnings were issued for multiple places around the world, including Hawaii, Alaska, and even the west coast of the United States and back over to Japan. Woo! And this comes after a magnitude 8.8 earthquake hit Russia. Uh, far eastern parts of Russia. The warnings for U.S. states have now been downgraded. You're looking at video as people tried to evacuate to higher ground across the Pacific. Hawaii, it was just a nightmare. The traffic just backed up to a traffic jam. I saw on Twitter somebody said it took four uh. hours to travel one mile. So, but the good thing is that the wave heights were low enough that, uh, you know, it doesn't look like there were any really, really serious impacts. A lot of travel impacts, though, you know, for people who were traveling to and from Hawaii. Uh, but uh, so far, it looks like everything is shaping up to be a lot better than it could have been. Yes. A lot better than it could have been. Oh, my goodness. It's just scary because you get that and you're like, it's not here yet, but it could be a wall of water heading toward us. They had, yeah, many, many hours of um, warning, mm -hmm. you know, but the sirens are going off. And I mean, just, oh, man, yeah, it's just a mass bad, chaos. Bad, bad deal. So even residents along the California coastline were under a tsunami advisory last night. Mario Ramirez, so he's from our sister station in L.A., has the update as of this morning. The entire U.S. West Coast was under that tsunami advisory overnight, and we just learned that it's been downgraded here in Southern California to a tsunami watch. Now, we're in Marina del Rey, and you can see the waters here behind me in the harbor are very calm, but there was some concern that surging water in and out of harbors could cause boats and even docks to detach from structures as residents came by overnight to take a look at that rare activity. If the wave comes and it's really huge, then all the docks, would lift and float freely with all the boats just floating around all over the place and crashing against each other. That would be terrible. That tsunami advisory now in effect for coastal areas from San Diego County to San Luis Obispo County following that powerful earthquake near Russia. And some who came out here to Marina del Rey overnight like they normally do say this time it was under rare conditions. Honestly, I was I was a little freaked out, but I mean, nothing, nothing too much. You know what I'm saying? Like, Everybody at work was was scared because we work by like by the beach, like right here, like right on the shore. But everybody was like pretty scared. Just the levels, the water levels are a little higher. Usually it's like really low, but today it's it's a nice high tide, and then there's a bit of a stream going down that that way. But and I was honestly not that worried, I, since you know we always get the alerts and they never really seem to hit. But you never know; it could be that one day when it actually does hit in the waves started crashing down. Those people coming for a closer look, others leaving the area. I heard about the tsunami and I'm seeing the difference in the riffle effect in the water. I'm about ready to push up out of here because I, I see the water coming and you never know. It's crazy, yeah, I mean, it's a little scary. Tsunamis are much rarer than earthquakes for us. Our local earthquake expert, Dr. Lucy Jones, talks about how rare this event is for Southern California and the potential for damage. It's a very strong current. Right, the water's pushing you around. There's a lot of weight to the water. And therefore, we often see a lot of damage in harbors or, or ports. Uh, and I think that's likely to be a significant issue in this as the tsunami passes through. There's been no reported damage from that tsunami activity, but officials say that waves generated by a tsunami could persist for up to nine hours after that initial sign. For now, that's the latest here in Marina del Rey. I'm Mario Ramirez. Back to you.